Welcome to the Send One Time Message to Individual tutorial video. After logging into your account, click on Send Messages. Type in the description of your message and select which modes of communication you want to contact. You have the option for text message, instant message, and email. There's also the option to send the message via Smart Blast. This automatically sends your message via IM first, then to mobile text, and then to the recipient's email address. It actually stops cascading down to other modes of communication if the recipient replies back with OK to any of the earlier messages. For this video, let's select text message, IM, and email. Next, you will need to select what type of message you want to send. We are going to select one-time message to individual. You will now see an option for when you want to send the messages out. Send this message now or schedule this message to go out at a later time. After that, click on the Compose Message button. At the top of this page, you will see the URL shortener. Please watch the Shorten URL and Manage Image Library tutorial video for a more in-depth look at these features. Let's move on to the Mobile Text Message section. Inside the message box to the right of your organization name is where you enter your message. On the left, under Insert Mail Merge Data, you can automatically insert each recipient's first and last name. The system will automatically fill in the recipient's first and last name as it sends out your message. The Insert Coupon Code button lets you insert a coupon code into your message as well, assuming you've already created a coupon campaign. We recommend choosing the unique text coupon code because it will be easier for your recipients to redeem the coupon. Please watch the coupon code tutorial video to learn more about creating coupon campaigns. The insert picture and video button is also covered in its own separate MMS tutorial video. The Change Organization Name section lets you change your organization name at any time, since it appears at the front of your text messages. Simply type in the new name and press Change and you will see your organization name changed in the message box. Now let's move on to the IM message box. Again, you have the option of inserting the recipient's first and last name. What's cool about instant messages is that you can fit up to 500 characters. Last but not least is the email message section. The system automatically assigns your username followed by your mobile marketing company's name as the default from address and reply to address. The add new address button will direct you out of the compose message page, so for first time users, we suggest leaving your default email for the time being. Please watch the Getting Started Manage Account video to learn how to add new email addresses to the from address and reply to address. After entering a subject, once again you have the option of inserting the recipient's first and last name using the mail merge data. Make sure to check out our stylish email template so that your emails look professional. You have hundreds of templates to choose from. Click on the template you choose and press Select Template. You will notice that the template you choose is now in the body of your email. 
The Insert Coupon Code button allows you to insert a unique coupon code or barcode like we did in the Compose text message screen above. As you can see here, the email editor is very similar to Microsoft Word. You can change the font type, font size, colors, backgrounds, insert images, embed links, etc. For people that know HTML or want to embed their own HTML design, you can click on the Source button on the top left corner. After you're done composing all of your messages, click on the Spam Check and Select Recipients button. The Spam Checker is a filter that tells you if your email blast will most likely end up in the spam folder. It ranges between low level, high level, and critical level, at which point the system will tell you what to edit before moving on. After the Spam Checker, click on the Select Recipients button. On the Select Recipients page, you can choose to search by contact info, first name, or last name. We are going to choose to search by first name. Now it's important to note that even though we are searching by individual, this individual must be subscribed in one of your distribution lists. Enter the contact's first name and click Search. The system will search for every contact with that first name and you will checkbox the one you are sending the message to. Then press Add Contacts. If done successfully, you will notice the contact on the bottom list. Once you have all the individual contacts you wish to send this message to, click on the Preview and Send button. You can review the description of when the message will be sent, which time zone it is based out of, which distribution list or contacts it is being sent to, as well as the contents of the message you are sending. Please note the Mail Merge options. If you are using the Mail Merge feature and your database does not have the recipient's first and last name, the system will automatically insert whatever you enter here. For example, you might want to put something like Valued Customer or VIP Member. Finally, click on the Send Message button and you're all set.